got the new issue of Pig. Leak, Leak and, and spill. spill. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. <laughs> Just a quick little short intro. Uh, fun week. Wow. <laughs> fun weekend. Been crazy week here. I had um, a day off. I got a lot of stuff done. Elder's feeling no pain. I had a hell of a day today. Yeah. Just busy with work. It's, and stuck in traffic. Oh, it's oh. terrible. But I'm getting a new roof put on the house on Friday. And I'm excited chimney. about that. New chimney. So everything's good. Rolling yeah. along. And on Sunday, we did a triple brew day. Yeah. Uh, Dropkick Nate, the dry stout for the malt experiment, and so beer. And so, I got to help out. Yeah. I did. You were showed up yep. in time. Yeah, he, he did not miss out on the brew. No, day. I didn't. So I've got some footage coming up. Guys, check that out. And I know I've been slacking on getting that Homebrew Wednesday homecoming video out. It will happen. So just yep. stay tuned. Sit tight. It's Thanks, coming. Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Yours was yours. awesome. Yeah, man. Cheers to you. And we had a good rib cook off this past weekend too. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, see if I can drop a photo in. Yeah, or two. And right here. Oh my gosh, what's that? Oh, we got beer mail. Miller Lite. Gosh. And uh, we, we got, got some got beer mail. We got packages going out. We got We're some beer mail. Send some beer mail. Yeah. Out. Yep. And we got beer mail in. Yes, we so. did. So, thanks, Josh. And thanks, Wally. Thanks, Wally. Completely unexpected. Man, this gaffer came really out of gonna... the blue. Worked on this lighting. Huh? Look at that. Gosh. Wow, is this This awesome. gaffer, we should pay him. Yes. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Homebrew home up. up. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Good morning. Real early. Don't even have a coffee yet. It is. 4.05 a.m. I'm about to get strike water on because I've got a big, oh, triple brew day. So, didn't drink last night, got to bed early, got up early, and I gained an hour. So it's really like a little after five. So, uh, doing okay. But I'm going to get some coffee going, I'm going to get my strike water on, and I'm going to get to getting. See you in a bit. All doed in, about 65 Celsius, whatever the heck that is in Fahrenheit. Um, Dropkick Nate's on. I boiled up some more wort for the starter. We're doing an Irish Ale starter for the other two brews. Uh, it's been going since Wednesday night. We started with a thousand mils and then added another thousand and then added another fifteen and today I'm adding another fifteen to give it that final boost um, and volume and uh, it should be raging by the time I go to pitch because I'm not going to be pitching that yeast until who I don't know another eight hours or so <laughs> a little after five uh, things are going well got the coffee of course you know I'm having coffee with the Clements Cheers. Oh, all right. Second beer. Grains are weighed out and milled. Uh, the first beer is Drop Kick Nate. I'm finishing up the uh, second runnings on that, final runnings, getting it into the kettle. So that boil should be underway momentarily. And um, just getting the third beer together. The second beer that we're going to do, or I'm going to do, might have some guests today, but we'll see. Um, Second beer is going to be the um, malt experiment beer, and this is headed up by uh, um, Puka NC. And this time around, we did the hops before. Now we're doing malts, and we're doing all the same recipe. Uh, so we might be a little burnt out on dry Irish or dry stouts uh, by the end of this, but we're going to do the dry stout that's in the Brewing Classic Styles book, and um, it's going to have basically the identical mash, identical yeast, identical, you know, mash schedule, uh, identical yeast, identical hops. Uh, the only thing we're changing is the base malt. And uh, so there's two variables in this brew. Um, well, three, really. Uh, one is the water. You know, each brewer is going to use their own water. Second is going to be the base malt. And then the third is going to be technique. 
and equipment. So I think that one's going to be um, probably the least influential component of this uh, experiment, but it's going to be fun. So uh, I've got everything um, milled up for that. This one calls for uh, the black malt, a pound of black malt, to be extremely fine crush so basically a flour so what I did was I ran it through our mill set the gap really close and ran it through three times and it's pretty much just powder it was making a big mess I had to clean up a bunch of stuff but everything's good and the third beer is so beer stay tuned it's the smoked oaked bourbon imperial Irish red brew day so beer and this is with some of the stuff that's going in we got carrot pills carrot red smoked malt oak chips for later some roasted barley and it's going to have golden promise for the base malt that's it and a whole bunch of golden promise we're expecting gravity of 1.1 something so we'll see how we do on efficiency See you later. Coming up to hot break on the dropkick Nate. Uh, I think she's starting to break uh, behind this little hot bag here. And over here we've got strike water on for the protein rest on the dry stout. Dropping hops in the dropkick Nate. First hop drop, 60 minutes. Five minutes to go, dropkick Nate. Boom! Dry stouts underway into sacrification rest. Sacrification. There's the grains for so beer. They smell great. <laughs> oh, smell a vision. Smell that. Half of them anyway. Smell that. That's half of them. That's the one with the roasted barley. Just a touch for color. And yeah, I cut myself again. What the hell? And back here. Gotta clean out this mash tun. Strike water's on for the so beer. And this is the dry stout, and uh, it's looking good. Numbers look great. Did uh, first step mash, and it all worked out pretty well. We get that sucker up to boil and uh, get it rolling. Dropkick Nate is in the fermenter, and yeast is pitched. Cheers. 2.0 set. Two. These are uh, East Kent Goldings, 2.05 ounces. Got one in at 60. This is the only hop addition for this beer. Brewmaster Nasty Night. Look at this mash. Dowing in. This Imperial is, Red. This is like 23 pounds of grain. 10 pound, 10 pound, 10 gallon cooler. We are definitely pushing the capacities here today. Go big or stay home. So we got some so beer boiling. We're gonna boil this thing down before we add hops for the 60 minutes. Uh, color is good. Gravity was a little low, so the volume was a little high. But that eh, should Delicious. come should come into target here pretty soon. Give it some extra boil. So beer. Hi. Whoop. Hey, gang. Ooh. Ken's dropping hops. Two ounces, right? Yes. East Kent Goldings. We've been boiling down for probably close to an hour now, trying to reduce this uh, volume down and gain some gravity points. Color still holding on nicely. We dropped a little volume. You can see the ring there. A little bit of that color. So it's it's going well. Let's do those hops in there. It's smelling really damn good. <laughs> I think she should turn out. Our target gravity is 1.1. I don't know if we're going to get there, but we're going to get as close as we can. Cheers! flock yeast nutrient. Gonna need some yeast nutrient in this baby. <laughs> that means there's 15 minutes left. 
can't wait. Okay. Last top drop, 10 minutes to go in the boil before we chill. To go. One more ounce of East Kent Goldings. For good measure. Oh, oh yeah. Mm, wish we had smell of vision The smoke and the aroma coming off of this, the smoke aroma. Oh, it's lovely. We can, however, talk about our last specific gravity. No, oh, let's save that till very end. We take the final reading. Sounds like a plan. God. That looks like a whole lot of starter there you got, pal. <laughs> Three liters going in. 1.110 is our starting gravity here. Oh, yeah. Get the good stuff in the bottom. Oh, yeah, baby. Shake it around. <laughs> Enjoy. We'll be coming back and checking on that. Hopefully she takes it. Nice work, Ken. Can't wait. Cheers. I got the pink one. Just say <laughs> happy homebrew Wednesday. Happy homebrew Wednesday. Happy Homebrew Wednesday! Ken, get in here. Oh, yes. <laughs> there he is. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. <laughs> it's been a crazy brew day. That is the smoked oaked bourbon imperial Irish red. Biggest beer that we've brewed to date. Thanks, Ken, for the recipe collab and inspiration. Elder yeah. Went, went to Rib Fest yesterday, which was Halloween. So he missed the kids in their costumes, but we had a nice rainy, cold. It wasn't wet too cold, rain. but it was very wet. Very cold. <laughs> well, cool. Not, nice cool. Not fun for trick or treat. But no. we got through it. Right. The color looks pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, I, I think so. Yeah. That's yeah, going to be nice. be interesting to see how. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's all it. That beer clocked in at 1.1. One point one zero. One point one one zero. Sorry, wasn't it one point one one? Yeah, something like that. So, pretty amazing. Super sweet like that too. Crazy sweet. So that'll be a fun one. Um, hopefully the Irish ale yeast holds up. Uh, that's really it. I've got some footage. I'll put it in. You guys have a great week. Happy Homebrew Wednesday and all that. Peace. Oh, 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 and oh. don't forget. <laughs> Sorry, Aunt. Peace. Don't no. forget. Home. Brew. Up. Uh. Oh, you were going to do that. Oops. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>